This is Ian Lamont. I'm an experienced Amazon seller and publisher, and today I'm gonna to walk you through the steps to set up a product targeting campaign on Amazon Advertising, also known as Amazon PPC or pay-per-click. Information on how to contact me is in the description and bio, and let's get started. So we are in the Amazon Advertising Console, Amazon Ad Console, and usually when you create a new campaign, you'll see some options like this. If you don't see all the options, that's okay, because the one that we're, that we're gonna be using, sponsored products, I think, Everybody has access to this type. And this is how you can create a product targeting campaign. So I'm gonna click on continue right here. And I have a whole bunch of fields to fill out. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, sometimes errors pop up after you create an advertising campaign. And actually I'm going to do a couple things which hopefully will help me avoid the errors. But still at the very end, when I click submit, I still might see an error code. And this is kind of the reality of dealing with Amazon and trying to figure out uh, maybe what you did wrong. So the first thing I'm going to do for ad format, I'm going to choose standard ad. Um, sometimes I do like to have custom text kind of mentioning my product and describing a little bit more, but you can also get away with the standard ad. So ad group settings, Amazon, the way that they organize campaigns, they have a campaign name and then they have an ad group setting. And the idea is if you have one, you can have more than one ad group underneath a single campaign. So that's why they're asking you to give it a unique name. So I'm just going to call this uh, Mac OS Harvested ASIN March 2025. Okay. Harvested ASIN. ASIN is the name for the Amazon product identifier number. It's usually a bunch of letters or a bunch of numbers. Mac OS is the name of the product that I'm going to be advertising. This is a product that we manufacture. It's under our brand. And so I just added it right there. Amazon shows you a list of the products you can advertise. If you don't see what you're looking for, what you need to do is you need to search by product name or ASIN and then maybe select all Amazon products and hopefully you can find it. So I've already selected my product. This is the one I'm going to be advertising. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be advertising this product, hopefully on the product pages in the search results for other products on Amazon. And Amazon lets you do that. Like I can say, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to advertise my uh, cheat sheet against like a printed copy of the U.S. Constitution. I could do that if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to be advertising it against products that I know other people look at when they buy this product. So hopefully that will help encourage more sales. So here's where it gets tricky. Pay very close attention here because sometimes Amazon does things which are designed to basically extract more money from you and maybe help you make mistakes that result in you paying, paying more money than you should. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose manual targeting, choose keywords or products to target shopper searches and set custom bids. Okay, that's what I want. And then it says keyword targeting and product targeting. So as I said, we're doing a product targeting campaign. So I'm going to select product targeting. It says choose specific products, categories, brands, and other products to target your ads. So I'm very focused on targeting other products. And in fact, I have already prepared a list of ASINs. These are ASINs right here, these numbers here on the left. I'm going to, I'm going to like add this gigantic list of ASINs to the campaign. In fact, I'm just going to copy it right now. And I think there's, how many, how many do I have here? Oh, it's big. So it's like 135 <laughs> ASINs for other products I'm going to be using in this campaign. So I've already said product targeting. Um, here's where it gets really confusing. There's a couple things that can trip you up. So I'm going to explain what they are. So the first thing is Amazon wants to use a suggested bid. And you'll notice the suggested bid is between like for this category, it's between 55 cents and 91 cents per click. Okay. So uh, that doesn't work for me. I always choose a custom bid. And you can see it starts pretty low. And the reason is, is because I can see what works. And like, if I use this custom bit of 28 cents and there's no impressions and no clicks, then I can just start to raise it. But I'm not going to start at what Amazon tells me I should be starting at. Uh, oftentimes, these estimates are completely off base or way too expensive. So I do not want to get in a situation where I'm paying like, you know, almost a dollar per click. And sometimes, by the way, these suggested bids are a lot more than that. So the other thing is, is it's suggesting categories. So this is a category in the books category. I actually want to target individual products. So it already says custom bid. The crazy thing is, is it's actually showing me my own products to, to advertise against. And I do not want to do that. The other thing is, it says expanded. This means Amazon will, even if you put in a list of other ASINs, Amazon will expand it to other products it thinks are relevant, which of course will just be other books in the same category. So I don't want that. I want exact. I do not want expanded. And I'm going to get rid of all of these products. These are my own products and basically enter a list 
of enter ASIN separated by comma, space, or new line. So I just copied the list of ASINs right here. There's 135 of them. I'm just going to paste that whole list right here. And then I'm going to click target. Make sure that it says exact. Make sure it says custom bid. So I'm starting at 28 cents per click. And I'm going to click target. Okay. So then what it will do is it will show you all of the products that you just entered the ASIN for. So for instance, here's a book called Mac All in Ones for Dummies. So that's a relatively well-known brand. So I am bidding 28 cents. Amazon suggesting it should actually be a lot more than that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put everything down as uh, 28 cents for now. And then I'm going to come back in a week, a week later and just see how it's doing. And maybe if necessary, I'll start to increase the bids if there's, if there's no impressions or clicks. So I have a huge list right here. The other thing that you might want to do with reviewing this list is just make sure that your own books are not included in this list by accident. Okay. So I've just uh, put in that list. It says 13 out of 135 products weren't added. So usually what that means is some of the ASINs that I have, they're no longer available on Amazon. So uh, they're not going to be included in the targeting that I set up, but I'm okay with that. So I already have like, let's say it's 120 different other books and other products on Amazon that are being targeted exactly. Not an expanded list, the exact list of the books. Okay, I think I made my point there. Now, uh, this is important too, negative product targeting. So it says exclude brands. And interestingly, it doesn't show the right brand here. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do is exclude products. And what this means is you can enter a list of your own books that you do not wanna appear in the advertising or you can also exclude other people's books or other people's products that you do not want to appear. Um, kind of, you don't want your ad to appear next to it. And there's a couple reasons for doing this. One is that it's kind of a waste of money um, for for me to be advertising on my own on my, on my other on my other products. And then sometimes what happens is you'll notice that like there is another product that is people are clicking on the ad, but it never converts. So you know that it would just be wasting money. So what I'm going to be doing is entering a list of my own products that I want to exclude. And I've already prepared that. I actually have a, uh, a big list of ISBNs, which are also ASINs for books. I'm gonna use that. And by the way, if you're using, if this was not, if you weren't advertising a book, you're advertising another type of product, you would just be using the standard ASIN that begins with like usually the letter B. So I'm gonna click, ex I paste it in the list and I'm gonna click exclude. Now it says 32 of 32 products weren't added, which is interesting to me. So I don't know what's up with that. I have another list. Let me see if I can do this one instead. Okay, so this is a list of ISBNs and ASINs. I'm gonna enter the list and click exclude. All right, so it did add most of them, but not all of them. I can see these are, the, these are other books and products that we advertise. I'm gonna try this other list of ASINs right here to see, what, see if I can get it to, get it to move. Exclude. So it doesn't like that other list, so I'm just I, I'm okay with that. Let me just make sure that it has the uh, the main products I want to keep out of this. Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the ones that I really wanted to exclude. I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, well, I'm just going to have to live with this for now. Maybe I'm going to come back and change that later on. So here's another area we have to be really careful. This is a, a dark pattern. Amazon basically is trying to set defaults, which encourage you to spend more money, which is not necessary. So the dynamic bids up and down. So this basically means that even if you're just bidding 28 cents, Amazon can just kind of uh, raise it as high as it wants or maybe within some limit, um, but you don't even know what that limit is. So I never do dynamic bids up and down. I only do dynamic bids down only. Um, Fixed bids means it will just stay at 28 cents, but dynamic bids mean it can, it can be 28 cents or less, which is okay with me. You can also do another thing here called bid adjustments, and I do use this. So top of search first page, this means that you're, you're, you're willing to bid a little bit extra. So I'm gonna say, let's say 11% more um, for my advertisement to appear if it's at the top of search, okay? So it actually gives you an example. A 28 cent bid will become 31 cents for top of search. 28 cents for rest of search and 28 cents for product pages. So maybe I'm gonna also boost it a little bit for product pages too, all right? So it's up to 31 cents. Uh, some people do things like they'll do top of search. If you can get to the top of search, they'll boost it by 50% or even 100%. So basically, you know, doubling the, the bid that you set, but I don't wanna be that aggressive. So uh, I think that's good there, campaign name. So I have a 
type of campaign name that I always use. So it's Mac OS um, Harvested ASIN. Oops. SP means sp uh, Sponsored Product Harvested ASIN. And then I give it the date, 032425. Now, uh, one last thing you have to do is set the bid. So they suggest a daily budget of $14. I can live with that. Just be aware, though, that that means that's the maximum they can charge. And because I don't have any end date set, they can keep on charging me $14 per day until the end of time, you know, even if the campaigns aren't working. So just be aware that sometimes people, they'll set up a daily budget, sometimes for a lot more than $14, and they'll leave it like no end date. And then they kind of forget about it. And then they look at their credit card statement and they've spent thousands of dollars on a campaign that may not be working. So just be aware of that. I'm going to click the launch campaign button, but I'm kind of expecting that it won't. It there'll be an error of some kind. So let's see what happens. Okay, good. Congratulations, your campaign launched successfully. That's what I was looking for. So I'm pretty happy with that. But basically, that's how to create a product targeting campaign on Amazon advertising, also known as Amazon PPC. If this video helped. Please take a moment to like it and follow me, and I'll see you next time.